Hi everybody, it's Shaleen. Oops, sorry. I could have done that. This is my art supply haul. Well, not a haul because I've owned this for a while, but this is all my supplies. Um, a lot of whom are doing videos on this, and I thought, well, maybe I have something different somebody else doesn't, and I'm going to go with this. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is some, like, um, just little things. So, I have my, um, this is what I use a lot to sharpen, especially my Prismacolors. And this is nice. I like it like if I'm at my um, desk coloring while watching videos or if I'm in here, if I'm doing videos and need to sharpen, um, I use this. Otherwise, um, I use this. This is my electric one I got at Target for like $25. I absolutely love this. It makes me have really good points on my Prisma colors. Again, oh, so yeah, I really, really like this. It comes apart real easy to clean. So um, I recommend that. And then I bought this just to use to carry around before I even bought the Statler ones. And this one's okay. It's not the greatest. And I have... This here is Germany Perfection. It's a Faber-Castell. It's an eraser on one end and a brush on the other. So when I get coloring or, you know, and or if I erase and I don't want to blow or anything, so I use this and I use it on the pastels. If I use pastels on the backgrounds and it leaves, you know, residue, I'll brush it off or I'll just take my book outside and just shake it off. So I use this a lot. And then I have what is called a Posca pen, and that's what makes the little white lines, like in, or the white dots in your coloring books that goes over um, colored pencils, it goes over um, paint and markers. So I have that. And then this is my Pentel water brush. You fill it up with water, it's got the brush. They have um, fine point medium, and I got that from Amazon. Um, I also have a Derwent battery-operated eraser. Um, just hold on to it. But yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm showing. But yeah, that's my Derwent. Let's, I'll show you again the erase. That's my Statler pencil sharpener and I have a Prismacolor pencil sharpener and I really don't like it if this is made for Prismacolor it's bullshit <laughs> that's all I can say I have some paper stumps which is good for blending I haven't tried it on colored pencils I've used it on my pastels oh sorry so I got those from um, Dick Blick online and um, a friend gave me some coloring supplies, and this eraser was in it. I haven't used it yet. And she sent me this, this, the, some Gamsol, and that's supposed to be good for blending. I haven't used this yet. Um, that's all that's in it, so I don't know if it if she's you. If she used it or if it just like evaporates so yeah it's an odorless mineral spirit and it's used for blending I haven't used it yet and when you get when you get the Derwent battery operated eraser it comes with more of the erasers so you can put them in so when my friend sent me her supplies they came in this little pink case and so I just keep it in that 
And then I bought a paint palette at um, AC Moore about a month ago. So I can use it for my watercolors. And then I bought a bunch of brushes. They were like $4. Got brushes and the sponge heads. So I have different kinds of brushes. And then Dee Dee says you don't need a lot for watercolors. You don't need to spend a lot. So um, I bought some Crayola watercolors. And I used a little bit of it. have those and then I have my favorites which are my 30 set Neo Color 2's they're water soluble they're by Karen Diash and they look like crayons and I've shown you how to use them in some of my videos that's where my water brush comes in handy so I only have the 30 set I don't really know if I need more than 30 because I just use it as a wash but I do have a watercolor coloring book, so I may end up buying more. And you can buy those in open stock, so I might have to do that. And then I have the Derwent Ink Tent um, ink pencils. There's, I bought the 24 set. They're not in any nice order because I need to. I need to get a pencil case for these. They fall out. But um, yeah. They're the Derwent Ink Tents, and it tells you what what color it is, and you can use them. Uh, I use these um, either color in the coloring book, and then use the um, water brush to go over what you colored, or you take the tip, you take the brush, and you brush it along the tip, and put it on. But I prefer to color with this. And so I have this set, like I said, this needs, I love these cases, but it doesn't stay closed. Well, it does like this, but I keep this one stored upright and it comes apart and they all fall out. So I need a better way to store these. I might keep, th this I'll keep in the tin. And then... I don't remember if I bought these or if my sister bought me these when I first started coloring. They're 36 count watercolor pencils by U.S. Art Supply. Um, you can use on wet or dry paper, draw or paint. Um, so I have these to use on the watercolor. I have used them with my Pentel brush. So I will probably use these more once. Um, I start coloring in the watercolor coloring books. So that's my watercolor collection. I have a pastel collection. I have the Prismacolor 48 count new pastels. And I use these for backgrounds of my coloring books. They're beautiful. Um, I scrape them with an X-Acto knife over the, the color where I want the color to be. And um, then I use a makeup brush or a makeup sponge and just um, dot it or rub it in. So that's how I use these. I love these. Um, Another thing that I just bought was a heat gun. I got it at Michael's. Mine's a recollection heat gun. I got it at Michael's. Um, I had a 50% off coupon, so that's why I bought it there. So I paid like $15 for this. And I've used it quite a bit, so. Yep. Next I'll show you my, let me move something out of the way. This is my marker set. So I have, this, my markers came in this. I bought the 48 set of Prisma Color markers, 
or I should say Scott bought it for me and it, they they came in two cases and they're like this these are my favorite you they have the brush on one end because some of them don't have the brush on one end some of them have the nub and I don't like the nub unless you're coloring in large areas but um, they're two and they got two ends the brush and the fine tip if you're shopping around and you want to know that the brush has this on it and if it's not a brush let me see what I, I know I have this is it came in two cases so that's one case and this is the other case and if it doesn't have a brush on the end but it has a nib then it has a wide spot like this and this is what the nib looks like but I prefer the brush for blend, especially for blending so um, I, those all came as one set in the store which was very expensive at Michael's even with a coupon because I didn't know about Dick Blick or anybody else and then I bought another one of these off of Amazon and uh, Dick Blick I've been buying these in singles so I can keep adding to my collection um, Dick Blick seems to be the cheapest there's Jerry's Art of Arterima, I think, online too. Their prices are pretty similar. I wish I had a Dick Blick by me, but then I'd probably be in trouble. But I do have a store called the Art Store, and I can buy these also single. So, yep. And then I have a pencil case. I love pencil cases. This is Crazy Cat Lady. And in here, I have all my Sharpies. Uh, there's neons and metallics and all kinds of sharpies. So, yep, that's my sharpies. And then I have more sharpies. These are fine point. I think those are too, but I have these. And then last weekend I went and broke down and I bought the super tips that everybody's been talking about by Crayola. Um, Walmart has the 100 set and a nice carousel, round carousel, but I was at Target already, so I just bought the 50. I don't really need 100. Um, these are water um, markers, whereas the Prismacolors are alcohol. They go through the pages. These won't go through the pages unless you constantly color, but if you put a small layer of colors, then... Um, this won't bleed through the paper so this you could use on a two-sided paper the Prisma colors that are alcohol based you can't and you can't with the Sharpies either I believe the Sharpies are yeah they're permanent also and I believe they are also um, alcohol I know they go through anyways so those are the markers I have they don't need a lot of markers, but I do want all the colors of the Prismacolor because I do love working with my Prismacolors. And I have, I bought these little bags. they got pocket there. They're only on one side. These are from 31 Party Plan. And these are crystal light containers that I put in there to hold them up. And these have my gel pens. Um, I have some extra Prismacolor pencils. I have a white gel pen. But these have my gel pens. My gel pens. And my Stabilo fine liners. And I use these a lot on my Bennett Klein when I'm outlining. So those are the Stabilos. You see that? They just don't tell you what color they are, but that's okay. So that's in this one. And I have, I love gel pens. I love any type of pen. And this is full of gel pens. These are Jelly Roll that I bought from Amazon. And then I have these. Let's see if you can see them. These are 
These are the souffles. Called souffle. Let's see if I can get that. Shoot. I just dropped them all over. But these are the souffles. It says souffle. And I better pick that up for the dog finds it because she'll eat it on me. And these, there's 10 pens in this. I think the white one I already have out somewhere, so that's why that one's not in there. Because I don't see another one. I think I only dropped one. I'll look when I'm done. So I have those. And then I have glittery ones called Stardust that are Jelly Roll. Stardust. And they are all in here as well. So, yeah. Some of these are Yubi. Some are Jelly Roll and some are Yubies. Okay, there's the Jelly Roll. These are Yubies. I don't really care for them. They seem to have. They seem to skip when you're coloring with them. So I didn't really care for them. So I have those in this pencil case and. Um, I have a cross-stitch friend that cleaned out her um, color and stuff, and she sent me everything, and she even sent me both of the, I have two cases of gel pens, gel pens. So I have like, just, I have glitter ones, and I can't even tell you, these are gel pens, and then there's she gave me a whole nother thing of jelly rolls. And so there's glitter and metallic and neon. But yep, these are jelly rolls. And I color with these a lot. I love them. Real pretty. Jelly roll. Jelly rolls. So I got two sets of that. And then I have another little 31 bag. And in here I have my acrylics. So I bought a few basic colors to do backgrounds. So I went to AC Moore and I bought some at Michael's the other day. So in this bag I have my acrylics. There's my jelly roll. And I have my stickles and then the off brand of stickles, which what are they called? Scrappy Cat Glitter Glue. So that's where I have also all my. So see, Scrappy Cat Glitter Glue. That's what's at AC Moore because they stopped selling stickles. I did get a few stickles there, and I know they have a bunch of stickles at Michael's, but I noticed at Michael's you have to buy them in packages of like three. So I have. I have seven of the glitter glue. Some are stickles, some aren't. So they're kept in here along with the acrylics. And I usually keep my uh, my Penta water brush in here as well. I don't know why, but I do because I don't use it with these. I think it's just so I know where everything is. And last is all the colored pencils that I own. So I have this cute little case. It's got cute little zippers. I bought this through Amazon and I don't remember the brand and I don't know if it tells inside. The only thing with this is you have to unzip every single compartment. These have my Marco Refines in it. I love my Marco Refines and I keep a, um, 
I keep a colorless blender in here and a pencil sharpener. So if I'm on the go, I have a pencil sharpener in here. But um, I'm missing two colors. My dog ate one of the purple ones and she ate a green one. But I don't see anywhere on here where it tells what brand this is, so I am not sure. I love these pencils. I used to use them all the time. I don't use them as much anymore. Um, I used to keep these in this container here, in one of these. And the dog was mad at me one day, and I thought she was chewing on her rawhide bone. And when I finally turned to go talk to her, I noticed she was chewing up my green pencil. And when I looked, she also had my purple one all chewed up. So, And you can't buy these in open stock, so I'm not very happy with her about that. So I have that. And then I went to the art store and bought six of the Faber-Castells. I want all of them now. I'm, I really, really like these. So um, I can buy these in open stock at the art store. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just keep adding to my collection. So right now they're just kept in here until I get a pencil case for those. And then I was on vacation last year at, um, in North Carolina at the Atlantic Beach. I went with a couple friends. And I didn't take any of my color and stuff. And my friend Kathy said, let's see what they have. I think we were, where were we? Hobby Lobby. So I bought this set of 24 colored pencils of the Statlers. And they're okay. I didn't do a lot with them. I didn't do any blending, so I don't know how well they work. And my sister had bought me the Prismacolor Premier Verithin. I did not know that she bought me the Verithin. I thought these were the regular Prismacolors, so I haven't been using I used them when I first got them, and then when I got the new Prismacolor set, um... I stopped, I didn't use these anymore, and so I thought I'll use them for backup, and the other day I realized they're the very thin, so I did try these. They are hard to color with, they are a hard lead, so I'm, I, I like the other ones better, but I'll use them up. And then I have a little Edgar Allan Poe pencil case. And this is this is not a price tag. It's a cute little, looks like a book thing when you go take a book out of the library the old-fashioned way. So it's there. And this has all my metallic colored pencils. Um, these are Marcos. I don't know if, I don't think they all are. These don't say anything, so I don't remember what the brands were. I bought them off of Amazon. I don't remember, but I have quite a few of the metallic pencils. And I keep them in this. And then my babies are in this colored pencil case. 150 slot case. And it's by Sue, Sue Color. It's got one zipper, which I absolutely love. This is purple. It looks kind of blue in the picture. So I have a colorless blender, and as you can see, I use it a lot. So I need to get a couple more. A jelly roll, um, and these are all in by color. So, yeah, I love this. I This is used... This is used constantly, and it, the wear and tear on it seems to work really well in this case. So I really, really like this case. That is all my supplies that I have. And they're pretty much kept confined in one area. I'm waiting for my son to finally get his apartment got his name in and he's been waiting to hear because once that's done then his bedroom's going to be redone and will be my 
half one I can probably put everything all on one wall of all my cross stitch and all my color and supplies and then I want a long table against the wall where I can put my markers and stuff along the wall and um, I can color there and watch my videos you know my laptop so that is everything that I have the only things like I said that I really really want is all the Faber-Castell polychromos I would love to own this whole set um, I know there was I think that's about it I don't really need anything else I have I have everything I like to use um, I have my pastels I don't really want oil pastels I don't really need any more supplies like this um, just replacing you know like the Posca pen I'll, I'll need a new one soon um, the Neo 2's will last forever and I just want to add to my Prismacolor markers and I, th is, I think there's a is it luminant lum, luminant set is it Caron Diash I th think I might like that because I'd like a set of oil based pencils and the wax based pencils and I'm I think both Prismacolor and Faber-Castell are wax based. Um, you can tell me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to read this and I'm not finding it. This is these are oil based. So and I'm not sure about the Prismacolors. But I'd like a set that's oil based and a set that's um wax base so if my Prismacolors are wax and these are oil then I will be very happy with that so that is everything that I own for supplies for now like I said I don't need any more um, I don't use much of the Sharpies I would I will in the books that are one-sided and that are my fun coloring pages that I would like to color on you know when I'm watching TV and or if I'm under a lot of stress and I don't want to ruin a really good picture and I just want a color to de-stress then um, I use the markers and the jelly roll pens and stuff but I'm happy with everything that I have so yeah I just want the Faber-Castells and the rest of the markers and I can order from them either through Dick Blick online or um, I can just go to the art store. I, the Faber Castells, I think, were the same price as and through Dick Blick, but I think Dick Blick is a lot cheaper for my markers. So that's it for my supplies. Let me know if I am missing something that you think that I should absolutely have or would really, really help me. And um, I'll see if I can get it. But I will talk to you all later. Thank you. I will. Uh, Click on like if you like this, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.